Hey everybody, Stacy here. Um, well, um, I'm getting ready to do a couple of these little blooms just because um, I like to, they're good to sell at the farmer's market. I, a lot of kids like them and um, I like that. That's really cool to have little kids that are interested in art and I like to have something that they can afford that's, um, you know, um, a good size for them and all that. Anyway, um, I'm doing a different pouring medium. I don't know if anybody else has done it before, but it's a hybrid between our regular pouring medium with Floetrol and the Shelly Art Inspired pouring medium. I'm using, um... About one part Shelly Art pouring medium and about two parts slow trawl. And uh, that's what I'm mixing my colors with. So, in the Shelly Art pouring medium is uh, one part bright tone or varnish to two parts glidden premium um, semi gloss base three. That's for the colors. So, you use two parts paint, one part. You know, polycrylic, bright tone, whatever varnish you want to use. And then um, for the pillow, um, I'm using Glidden Premium Semi Gloss Base 1. And so I'm still using a pillow. And um, uh, my cell activator is a little different too. Um, I'm using. Uh, Two parts flow trawl, one part paint, uh, you know, Amsterdam white paint, um, with a little bit of, um, uh, silicone. And, um, I'm going to do one, maybe not one of these small ones, but, um, in a minute, I'm going to do a regular, maybe a hair dryer swipe or something using, um, no cell activator at all. Because these are mostly Floetrol paints. So I'm thinking, why can't I do a flip cup and not use a cell activator? I don't see why I need one. Um, so I'm going to try that um, in a little bit. Right now, I'm going to do some of these little ones. And that's some ultramarine blue. And this is some Prussian blue. That little, the color in the middle is... Um, kind of a green blue, it's called halo blue, full luminaire, um, and it's a halo blue, uh, it's kind of a blue, bluish greenish color, and I'm going to put a little black, and I'm going to put a little gold. And then, um, I am going to put a cell activator on this one. Um, I'll probably use the cell activator on these, but I I'm going to see what it does without one because, um, since it's, oh, I forgot to put the silicone in here. So this is just regular cell activator, no silicone. So I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> is in it. Great. I got my hair all down in there. Well, that happens. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay. Let me see if I can get this some of the paint off my hair. And get it put back somewhere. Okay, um, I am not torching these simply because I have torched this Shelly Art pouring stuff before and it makes little bitty pinpricks um, sometimes uh, appear and I don't like them. So, um, 
I don't know um, for sure that it's the torching that causes that, but I think it is. That's really pretty. I love the colors in that. That's some black and ultramarine blue. This is some um, uh, Master's Touched um, turquoise green. I'm doing a couple that are just blue tones first. This is some Viridian. And that might have been Prussian blue I was using. That's Prussian blue. This is ultramarine. And this is a little bit of um, this is color color shift green, and like that one, I want a little gold. And I'm gonna put the silicone in the cell activator now. Um, I just really like the way this works. Um, I think it's kind of a best of both worlds situation, um, as far as mixing the two pouring medium, mediums, um, I like the way it, it's working. Um, uh-oh. And I don't know of anybody doing that. I've not seen anybody trying to mix them. Um, there might be people doing that by now. Um, I thought about it a while back and just only, only just now tried it yesterday or so. Um, but I really... Uh, I tried it on a big one, um, and I really liked the way it turned out, so I thought, well, I'll do some more experimenting with it, you know, and just see how they all turn out. Um, mixing, you know, essentially, it's like mixing your colors all like a cell activator. Um, you know, like we do our colored cell activators. Um, essentially, um, this technique is the same as mixing all your colors as if they were a colored cell activator. That's beautiful. Look at that. This one's really pretty, too. So, if you need to think, you know, if you want to think of it like that, um, you can because that's accurate because that's how we make our cell activators if they're colored we just mix uh, big old air bubble we just mix um, some Floetrol and you know that color and I've always put silicone in my cell activators or a lot of the time I have not always but a lot of the time But um, I really like this. I think it is beautiful. I think it adds a really neat dimension, um, you know, to the colors and to the um, the depth of everything. I think they're beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I'm not even going to change gloves. I'm just going to wipe these off and I'll show y'all. But I'm not going to torch them because um, I'm afraid those little pinprick thingies that have happened before. Um, I just get the main air bubbles out by. Now you can, if I still saw a bunch of, I'll tell you what. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm just going to briefly 
because I see some air bubbles right there. Let's see what it does. Ooh. I kind of like what it did. It made some more cells. But I just did that really briefly. You know, I mean, I'm not going to linger on it because I don't like those little pinprick things. But it made some more cells than that first one. And I like that. So, I may give it a little torch. Um, just... Just see. Uh, all right, let me show y'all these up close. I think they're just really gorgeous. I think what it does. See those cells? Those were with the torching added with the torching. Um, I think these are just beautiful, and um, I've had no trouble with them drying. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you the one I did. Um, now you can see my messy room, um, and my big fat dog, and um, this is the one I did, um, and see there's no trouble with it drying, it dried perfectly, um, no issues whatsoever, I think it turned out really pretty. So thanks for joining me, you guys. Uh, tune in next time. I'm going to do some more experimenting with this and see where, uh, where it goes. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. I uh, appreciate you supporting my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.